Well, good morning and another sunrise with Pastor Hayton here on Thanksgiving Day, the year of our Lord, 2013. How good it is to wish each one of you a very happy Thanksgiving Day. I trust it'll be a day of blessing as you give your praise and thanksgiving to the Lord out of a grateful heart for all the blessings that he's bestowed upon you. You know, I've got here on my computer screen a vintage picture, a wagon load led by horses going to the barn of golden grain. And uh, the caption on that is, For love present, and ills past, and good to come. May our hearts rejoice this Thanksgiving day. Then at the bottom, may your joys be as countless as the golden grains. Well, I'm thinking about for love present. Pretty soon we're going to join uh, three of our children out at one of our son's homes for Thanksgiving dinner and fellowship together. We're going to experience the love as a family coming together. And I am so thankful that my children are children that love one another. And my children are children that love their parents. And there's always a wonderful spirit of love when we come together. I believe that certainly the love that we have for each other is as it ought to be in any family. And I'm just so thankful that my uh, children all love each other and, and that they do love their parents and have so many different ways that they show that. So we're going to be in the presence of a lot of love. And of course, we're going to have extended family there. There's going to be sister and a brother and some of their children. So even among the extended family with the uh, uh, brothers and sisters and brothers and sisters-in-laws and the uh, cousins and nephews and the nieces, uh, we're going to just kind of have a time of showing each other love as a family and enjoying that love that we experience together but then it says for ills past. It's a little bit hard to be thankful for some of the bad things that have happened in our life, but it's a fact of life, and there's nothing we can do to avoid uh, some of the bad things that we experience in life. It's not uh, that we are such bad people that we experience bad things. We just live in a bad world. We live in a world that's under the curse of sin, and bad things are going to happen even to good people. So I think about the ills past. We've been through some mighty tough times in our family. We've had a few crises and we've uh, had some uh, sickness and affliction and still dealing with some uh, uh, physical affliction among some members of our family. And I know that uh, the ills past are not always uh, that which we even like to, uh, to talk about sometimes, but we cannot escape the fact that uh, we've all been through some tough times. And, and I'm so thankful that uh, uh, some of the tough times that I've gone through, that I've learned some lessons, some of those tough times have brought me closer to the Lord. Telling my people the other day that uh, as bad as some of the things that I've experienced in my life may be, yet I'm thankful for them because when they come to me sharing their heavy burden, I can empathize with them. I know exactly what they're feeling. And oh, I love to empathize with people. So we've had some ills past, but I thank God for uh, the way that he's brought us through the tough times and the lessons that have been taught and the strength that has been gained and the empathy that we've been able to cultivate. And then uh, for the good to come. My, I'm so thankful for the good to come. We've been praying about some situations in our family, and you know I believe God answers prayer, and I know God's going to answer prayer. And a great part of my thanksgiving is not for what we presently enjoy, nor the hard times that, we, that, that we've gone through that has taught us and brought us closer to the Lord, but I think about the good to come. I know that God has promised good things, and my faith and my trust in Him is for good things out there in the future. And I'm thankful for the good that is to come. So for love present, and I trust you'll be among people that love one another, and ills past, trust that you'll think back upon the ills of life, the bad things of life, and remember them as something perhaps that has benefited you in some way, but for good to come. May our hearts be uh, rejoice this Thanksgiving day. So I pray that your joys will be as countless as the golden grains. 
And let's just anticipate a great day of blessing as we give thanks for uh, all the love, for the ills that are behind, and for the good that is to come. Heavenly Father, give us truly grateful hearts this Thanksgiving day. Help us, dear Lord, that we'll be eternally grateful, Lord, for everything that Thou hast sent our way, even the bad things that Thou hast permitted, that has brought benefit in some way or another. So bless us, keep our faith and our trust in You strong. We pray that Thou would just make it a great day for all, and we ask it in Christ's name. Amen. Well, we'll see you tomorrow now on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. And again, Happy Thanksgiving. Goodbye.